Hi there, everyone. How are you today? Today's book is a book that takes place in New York City. New York City is one of my favorite cities. Well, as a matter of fact, it is my favorite city. And I feel so lucky that I live just a 39 minute train ride away. So here, this book is called Madison in New York. And this book was written by Libby Pataki, Wilson Kimball, and illustrated by Betsy Day. Libby Pataki, at the time of writing this book, uh, was living in the governor's mansion in Albany because her husband, George Pataki, was the governor at the time. And this book was written in 2004. So let's get a tour of New York City with Madison. And in here, just like me, it says Madison's favorite place in the whole world is her hometown of New York. And she wants to show the city to her new puppy, New Yorkie. So off they go on a New York adventure to visit all the famous sites in town, from the Empire State Building and Central Park to Chinatown and Broadway. Join Madison and New Yorkie on a trip through New York that celebrates the city's major landmarks and cultural diversity. Madison in New York. My name is Madison. I live in New York City in a brownstone with a garden in the back. I was in the garden blowing bubbles when my parents brought home a puppy for me on my eighth birthday. He's a Yorkshire Terrier. So I named him New Yorkie. The first thing I did when I got New Yorkie was brush out his fur, put on a blue ribbon in his hair, and put a blue collar around his neck. The collar has sparkly stars on it. Ever since that first day, we have been best friends. We go on long walks together all over New York. The first place we ever walked to was the Empire State Building. It was a bright sunny day. So I brought a pair of blue star shaped sunglasses for New Yorkie that matched my pink ones. I firmly believe that you can't be too sparkly. We arrived at the Empire State Building. We ran into mommy and daddy's friend, Professor Roche. Top of the morning to you, Madison. Professor O'Shea said. New Yorkie barked a greeting to him, <coughs> which means, and the rest of the day to you. Then New Yorkie and I went all the way to the tippy top. On a clear day, you can see all five boroughs of New York City. Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, and of course, Manhattan. Next, we walked to Madison Square Garden to watch a basketball game. At the game, New Yorkie learned how to do the wave. Every time our team scores, he and I stood up and sat down with the other fans so that it looked like a, we were in a giant wave. Of course, no one else in the wave barked or had a stand on his hind paws. Another time, New Yorkie and I went to see the Statue of Liberty because it's a very important landmark. I put a Statue of Liberty foam crown on New Yorkie's head. He looked just like Lady Liberty, except a lot smaller. Of course, we only wear faux, which is French for fake, fur. I think faux fur is a million billion times better than real fur. Then we took a ride on the Staten Island Ferry where we ran into my pediatrician. Hola, Dr. Ramon, como esta? Which means, hello, Dr. Ramon, how are you? We asked. Dr. Ramon replied, muy bien, Madison, y tú? Which means, very good, Madison, and you? New Yorkie barked, woof, woof, which means, muy bien. 
and then he wagged his tail for good measure. One day, we went for a long walk through Central Park. We stopped at the Alice in Wonderland statue. I put New Yorkie on the giant bronze mushroom and looked at him through my looking glass. His eye looked very big. Then we went to the Central Park Zoo. I wanted to see the sea lions and New Yorkie wanted to see tree frogs. Tree frog eyes are very small. Next, we went to the Museum of Natural History to see the Butterfly Conservatory. Bonjour, Monique, which means, hello, Monique, I said to the woman who always takes our ticket. Bonjour, mon chéri, which means, hello, my darling. Monique responded with a smile. As soon as we walked into the conservatory, a monarch butterfly landed on New Yorkie's head. When it opened its wings, it looked like New Yorkie was wearing a brown and orange barrette, which made me giggle and smile. New Yorkie was so happy that it kissed my face all over, which made me feel good all day. After the museum, we went to Lincoln Center. There is so much to do at Lincoln Center that you could go there every night. My mother prefers opera. My father would rather watch plays. I like ballet. Before the ballet starts, I like to sit by the fountain with New Yorkie. Sometimes, like today, if we are really excited, we do a million billion somersaults all around the fountain until both of our tongues hang out. It was nearly Christmas and the Nutcracker Ballet was playing. I dropped New Yorkie off backstage with Mrs. Gold, the costume director. Mrs. Gold put a little blue tutu on New Yorkie and a new blue ribbon in his hair. When it was time for New Yorkie to go on stage, he danced right across the stage on his hind legs. When he got to the other side, Mrs. Gold gave him a piece of chocolate babka. He was very happy. And so was I because she kept the piece for me too. Yum. During the holidays, we went skating at Rockefeller Center. After he crawled into my backpack, I put New Yorkie's new blue earmuffs on his ears. While I did figure, figure eights on the ice, he hung out of my backpack watching the world spin past him. In the spring, I took New Yorkie to the Museum of Modern Art. He is a fan of the painter Bark Rufko. Every time he sees a Rufko's work, he sits in front of it until his tongue hangs out of his mouth. That night when we went home, I laid out color paint and a white canvas. New Yorkie walked through all the paint and then walked all over the canvas. Now he is his own show in Soho Gallery on Prince Street. It's called Paw Prince by New Yorkie. New Yorkers call the Metropolitan Museum of Art the Met because it's short for Metropolitan. I didn't know that when I was little. I thought it was called that because people met there to look at art. My parents met there at an event that was held in the Temple of Denor. Now, every time we go, I want to visit the temple and have them tell me the story of how they met at the Met. Even though New Yorkers like to walk, they take the subway sometimes. New Yorkie and I took the shuttle train to Times Square, a mass of bright lights and people rushing to Broadway shows. New Yorkie has an audition for a show called Doggeties. The casting director, Mr. Mumbai, wants to see New Yorkie roll over balance on a ball and play dead. 
After the audition, Mr. Mumbai called my mother and said, they don't have dogs like this in Bollywood. I don't know where Bollywood is, but I'm sure we will like it because we love to travel. One warm day, we walked to Chinatown. Ni hao, which means, how are you? I said to Mr. Chu, who owns a store that sells fish and frogs. I wanted a, fro a frog to live in my tub and take baths with me. Yorkie doesn't like to take baths. I reached into the barrel of frogs, but I couldn't catch one. Mr. Chu reached in, pulled one out. He poked its belly. And the frog said, Gribbit, 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 which means, My name is Fred. Mr. Chu gave Fred to me, and I put him on New Yorkie's head. That seemed like the best place for him. Then I paid Mr. Chu and said, Chi Chi, which is pronounced Chi Chi, and means thank you. And we headed further downtown to the Brooklyn Bridge. New Yorkie and I walked across the Brooklyn Bridge into the borough of Brooklyn all the time. It's a good workout. Brook Brooklyn used to be the fifth largest city in America until it became part of New York City. Now it's one of the trendiest places in the Big Apple. It's autumn again, and that means the leaves are changing color and beginning to fall. New Yorkie likes to roll around in the crackling leaves. I went into the garden to fetch him because we are going to a baseball game. I had a tiny baseball hat made for him. His ears stick out of the hat so that Fred can sit right between them without falling off. New Yorkie and I eat hot dogs in the stands while Fred hops in and out of the empty popcorn boxes. It's fun going to baseball games, but I also like going to museums, Chinatown and the Statue of Liberty. When I asked Fred what his favorite place in the city was, he said, grab it, grab it, which means the Brooklyn Brit. New Yorkie on the other paw doesn't have a favorite place. When I asked him, he said, whoop, 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 which means it's too hard to pick just one favorite place in New York, especially for a New Yorkie. The end. So the next time you get to go to New York City, think about what your favorite places are. Think about maybe Madison and how lucky she is to live in Manhattan to have all those wonderful places to visit. I'll see you in the city. Bye.